Deep in the steep valleys of Wellow, young men are hard at work on the mountainside searching for opal, with only pickaxes as equipment. It's very dangerous. When there are collapses, it can kill a lot of miners because they have no protection. Sometimes when the stones fall, they get stuck in the tunnel. When you do this job, you risk your life. The miners sell their stones through a cooperative, but they could do better. Their simple methods yield only small opals of average quality because mixed with rock. Once the stone has been polished and its colors revealed, a 5-gram gem sells for 175 euros. There are several types of opal in Ethiopia. Crystal opal, black opal, red opal, fire opal. The more colorful they are, the more precious they are. After polishing, it's ready to be sold and is priced according to color, shape and size. Recognizing the quality of a stone to sell it at the right price is a rare skill in Ethiopia. So at the Ministry of Mines, the World Gem Foundation is launching a training program to help Ethiopians make the most of their mineral wealth. These resources are fine and we should know how to manage them and we should be uh, financially or economically uh, benefiting from this. Now we're educating people and I'm sure after six months this is going to change the dynamic of the sector. The aim of the program? To train a thousand gemologists over ten years in order to get a bigger share of the global market for precious stones. A market with a potential value of one billion euros compared with ten million today.